Hello, I'm Sergeant First Class Morrison and I have with me Sergeant Osborne and we're going to do a little demonstration today on how easy it is to transfer um, contaminants from our hands to other objects uh, to give some good information to people out there as they're going about their daily lives, going to grocery shopping or going to the gas station and wearing gloves and a mask and some things we maybe don't want to do, some things we do want to do. So Sergeant Osborne here, he's dressed up in his PPE. He's gone to the grocery store, he's walking through the aisle, and he's going to pick up his energy drink, take a look at it, that's what he wants. He's going to go ahead and set that down in the buggy. Um, Uh-oh, he's got a text, so he's going to go ahead and answer the text on the phone there. Just normal things we would do as we're shopping, answer that. Good to go. Oh, we got a phone call. All right, so he got his phone call, he's finished that up. He's, uh, he's going to go ahead and pick up his cookies as he's moving through the aisle. Yep, good to go. Check the calorie content on there. Those are fine. Okay, so he's good. Put that in the buggy. And now we're at the checkout. We're going to go ahead and put our items on the belt. We'll check out. He's going to get his wallet. Get that credit card out and give it a good swipe. He's trying to practice good habits. So instead of just taking his finger and touching the pen pad, he's going to take his pen out here. He's going to touch the numbers with the pen there and hit enter. And he's good to go. He's checked his items out. Now, hopefully before he goes back out to his car, he's going to go ahead and take off his gloves to make sure that he's not transferring anything that he may have picked up in the store into his car. So he's going to go ahead and take off his gloves and get ready to, to get everything in the car. He's already put all his stuff in the car. He's unlocked the doors and he's ready to go. He feels safe now, so he's going to go ahead and take his mask off. Let's pull that right off of there. I'll probably hang it on the mirror of the car or something, you know, wherever we decide to store that. And he's finished. On the mask from the transfer of the hands. We have some transfer on the bag of chips. We've got all kinds of it on the the energy drink here, the sides of the phone, we've got some on the pen, and definitely on the back of the phone. All right. All right, we're going to check the face here. See, we've got some germ transfer on the skin and on the clothes and on the hands and on the wrists there, you can see where it transferred over pretty well. All right, so we've checked Sergeant Osborne and clearly we saw that there was quite a bit of what we would call cross-contamination. His hands were contaminated and everything he touched after that became contaminated. And that's one of the things we're trying to avoid. So we're going to give you some helpful tips on how to prevent from contaminating other things while you're out in the public and to prevent contamination from getting on you as much as possible. Well, one of the things that we do in our profession is we like to wear a couple sets of gloves, several pairs, so that if we get in a situation where we think our hands are contaminated and we need clean hands pretty quickly, all you have to do is strip one layer off and that will come in handy also for when you come uh, it comes time to take the respirator off of your face whatever type of uh, mask that you're wearing to help protect yourself while out in public so he's simply going to put on one pair which we would call our skin contact gloves and then put another pair on top of that so that again in an emergency or whenever he's ready to take his mask off he can have clean hands without having to wash Another thing we can do is carry around some sanitizing wipes or some hand sanitizer. So anytime we think we've touched something that could be contaminated, those uh, high touch areas, keypads, doorknobs, things like that, um, he can simply pull out a hand sanitizing wipe and wipe off the gloves. So that's going to prevent, if he does having something on his hands, it's going to prevent him from spreading it around through the store or whatnot uh, when he touches the handle on his car when he gets in his car to drive. Or he could also use some hand sanitizer. I like to keep a small bottle of that on me at all times. So anytime I feel like I've touched one of those high contact areas or an area where there could potentially be contamination, I'll go ahead and clean my hands. 
with the sanitizing wipes, it wouldn't be a bad idea, um, at least once you get your groceries or your items home, to wipe them down as soon as you can to make sure that we're taking um, any contamination off of that so that we're not bringing it into our homes, spreading it throughout our home or our vehicle or whatnot. So now he's gone through his, his time and he's ready to take his PPE off again. We kind of demonstrated the way people would normally do it. What he wants to do though is to be careful. These gloves are dirty. We don't want to get any of that on our skin or on our clothing. So the first thing he's going to do is pinch up close to the wrist but not under. So now he's ready to take his gloves off and we're going to assume that both of the gloves are dirty. So what he doesn't want to do is get underneath the glove where it's clean or get up onto his wrist. So he's going to pinch the glove at the end of the palm close to the wrist and he's going to pull and turn that glove inside out as he pulls it off of his hand. And then he's going to ball that glove up in this hand without touching it with his clean hand. Now he's going to pull his sleeve back with his clean hand to where he can get to the underside. So now this glove is clean and this one is not. He's going to slide his pinky underneath the glove where it's known to be clean the best he can. Sometimes it'd be a little difficult. If you have to, you can pinch the very edge. And he's going to peel that glove off and turn it inside out, containing all the contaminant inside of that. And then we would want to make sure we throw this away. We're just not going to throw it down in our car or or throw it down somewhere, we want to make sure we throw it away in an in a, in a approved container for garbage. And I'll take that, we'll say we've thrown it away. So now that he has clean hands, the gloves that we took off were dirty, the ones underneath are still clean, he can take those hand, uh, gloves and he's going to take one hand and put it on his respirator. The other one he's going to take the bottom strap and pull it over his head. And then he'll pull the next strap over his head and pull the respirator directly away from his face. Now what we have to assume is the outside of this is contaminated. If you're breathing in, if you've walked through where someone has sneezed or coughed and you breathe in, this is going to help stop that from getting into your airway, but it's going to collect on the outside of the respirator. So once you take it off, a suggestion is uh, get a Ziploc bag put it inside of the bag and seal it up, sanitize the back outside of that um, bag so that it's clean, and then sanitize and wash your hands again. Then as soon as you get home, you also want to go ahead and wash your hands again, change your clothes, you want to wash your face and wash your hair even if you um, feel that maybe your hair got contaminated. That way there's no chance of you touching your face and then getting close to your mouth or your eyes or your nose and getting yourself infected. So, so he's taking the mask off. He's being careful not to touch the inside. We don't want to unintentionally contaminate that. But we're going to assume that the outside of it is potentially contaminated. So one good thing that you can do is have a Ziploc bag ready. You can put the mask down in the Ziploc bag, close it up, and uh, sanitize the outside of that. So if, when you're carrying your mask, you're not accidentally touching it and contaminating your clean hands. Uh, you don't want to try to clean your mask with uh, strong chemicals such as bleach or alcohol because it actually can make the fibers inside of the mask degrade. They're smaller, they're going to let larger particle sizes through and it won't be as effective. Um, some of the things the CDC recommends is you can um, have your mask for 10 minutes over boiling steam or for 30 minutes in an oven at 158 degrees Fahrenheit and that is sufficient to sterilize the mask for reuse. But again, you want to be careful how you touch the mask after you've taken it off, assuming that the outside of it is contaminated. All right, so now he's ready to take off the gloves. So again, we're going to pinch towards the wrist, but we're not going to put a finger underneath the edge of this one. He's going to peel that glove off, turning it inside out. He'll ball that glove up in his still gloved hand. And now he's going to take the pinky of his ungloved hand slide it under the wrist of the glove that's still on and turn that glove inside out containing the other glove. And then he would carefully discard that, 
throw it away. We're gonna make sure we don't put it out anywhere that someone else could touch it and get contaminated. And lastly, we can't stress enough, wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Just keep, avoid from putting your, your hands towards your face because that's how the virus gets in your body, through your eyes, through your nose, and through your mouth. And then if you can't wash your hands, you can either use a disinfecting wipe or some good hand sanitizer and keep that on you at all times. You should feel like you're washing and sanitizing your hands too much. I promise you, you're not. The more you do it, the safer you're going to be. And then again, once you get in out of the public, make sure you're washing your face off, um, wiping your hair, washing your hair, and taking any clothes that you wore out in public off and washing them immediately so that you're not wearing contaminated clothes out in, in your home.